welcome back to the Modern Midlifers. My name is CJ and uh, today we are here to explore another hobby. Right, with a very new friend of ours. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jackie! Hello! Alright, Jackie, why don't you just uh, have a shout out for yourself? Okay, so my username is Jacuzzi and I do makeup on TikTok. Mm. And today we are here to share more about makeup for... How do you put it? Okay, so basically, right, uh, I do events hosting, mm. right? And now that we are trying to, to you know, be on screen a little bit more. Mm. So we thought that you know it'd be nice for us to, for me to learn a little bit of a basic makeup. Mm -hmm. So possibly uh, nothing too outrageous, I okay. guess good for stage and also good for screen. And so we thought that since you've been doing it since you were 13, mm -hmm. you'll be probably the best person for me to learn from. Definitely, so mm -hmm. let's go. Okay. okay, so you were sharing with us about skin tint, T-I-N-T. I would suggest him to use a skin tint because mm. skin tint is basically a very light coverage foundation. A bit like foundation mixed with moisturizer. Mm. So I would suggest that for older people. Don't, don't need scared, don't need scared. I am older, don't need scared. Yeah, yeah. I would suggest that for more mature skin. La. Okay, yeah, okay. skin tint. So okay. not as heavy and cakey as a foundation. Two of the better skin tint in Safra mm. would be from Fenty Beauty as well as Rare Beauty. Mm. There are so many how to choose from here. Yeah. Like all of these are like different colour tones, right? Yes. That one's the foundation, the skin tint is this one. Uh, Jackie, just one quick question. How do you usually select the colours for yourself? Okay, so when it comes to base products, right, there's two main things that you should mm. take into consideration. Yep. One thing is your actual skin tone. So you okay. can look around and see where you fall in, like which mm. categories. Mm. So maybe you can see if you are light or a more tan skin tone. Mm. And after that, right, you, when you find your range, right, you yep. want to keep in mind your undertone. What's the colour underneath your skin, if it makes sense? So it can be pinkish, okay. it can be warm, uh, sorry, it can be warm tone, cool tone, neutral. Right, right. So it just means that your skin is more pink, mm. more orange, more yellow, mm. or you can use both, so more mm. neutral. Mm. So for you, mm. I picked around 15 and 16 for like the okay. Fenty Beauty East Drop. Okay. Yeah. So we can go try it out at the beauty studio. <gasps> can you go and try one? Can try that. I mean the first time I'm doing, not, not the first time I'm putting on makeup, but the first time I am really going to learn how to do it. Okay, so basically I've sanitized my hands already. Mm. And I'll just put a bit on the back of my hand as like a palette. So I'll just put a bit like this. Okay. So normally when it comes to like a foundation or any base product, right, you want to yeah. swatch here. Because okay. it's the closest to your face to see if the skin tone will match. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So maybe you raise your neck up for me. It's a bit too dark, so I just leave it there. And also, base product tends to oxidize, so you need to wait, give it a few minutes to settle down to see if it darkens. Okay, okay. It's really like a trial and error process until you find like the perfect match or something that's close enough. Yeah. How long did you tell me about undertone? Uh, okay, so you okay, you can look at your veins here. So if your veins here are green, right, it means that you are warm tone. Okay. If you got a good mix of green and blue, it means you are neutral. And then if you are blue, it just means that you are cool tone. If I'm not wrong, I think so. Your veins are green. Even though here got blue, but mostly it's still green. Oh. That's why also green. So I would say you are pretty warm. So now that we find a shade that is decent, decent like here, you see? No, 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 just now you're using another word. Cute enough, right? Uh, <laughs> it's cute enough. Yeah, you yeah. can try it on your face here, lah, like your okay. cheek. Okay. But I'm going to blend it out. Because this is a skin thin, right? You can blend with your fingers. Mm. I blend it out. Yeah, okay, so okay. don't let, don't let this scare you. Okay. You definitely have to like blend it out a bit lor. Okay, so you see all these flakes over here? This one right? Those are like the dead skin cells or like the dirt build up throughout the day. So you need to remove them before you put your base products. So normally I will put my makeup right on a fresh, like fresh skin. So after I just shower. But honestly, another way to remove this right is to exfoliate. So exfoliate means like, Removing your dead skin cells with products. Yeah. So for concealer, right, there's two different functions. So you want to either select a concealer that is the exact same shade as your skin to conceal your blemishes, acne scars, or hyperpigmentation. Or you want to choose a shade that's lighter to brighten up your under eye. But I feel like for more Asian makeup, we don't really need to brighten our under eyes. So wait, there, there, there are so many products here, mm. right? And, and I mean, do they all serve the same? Purpose or? Uh, okay, because makeup la, has different mm. formula and of course for different formulas, there's yep. different purposes. Okay. Uh, different concealer will be best for different purposes, if mm. it makes sense. Some are 
some are better for scars, some okay. are better for under eye, some are better for wrinkles, you know. Okay. So, yeah, lor. So, this one saying like bye bye under eye, that means this is good really for just okay. the under eye. So, by right, right, this yep. is good for your under eye, dark eye circles. Okay. But as people use along the years, yeah. they feel like this is better for acne scars. So, you also. Ah. also you, so you also cannot believe what you see. Like, you need to do your own research before you buy makeup. And I guess also because everyone's skin co complexion is so different. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Next is setting powder. So, mm. but before that, I mm. need to know what kind of skin type you have. Mm. You have oily or dry skin or combo. Gets oily. Yeah. Okay, so we need a setting powder that is very matte to really like uh. and lock in the oils. Okay. Okay. Oh. So, so setting powder is a powder that sets your makeup. Imagine all the products we use, right? They are yeah. cream based. Okay. They are like cream, they are liquid, right? Yeah. It will move around, definitely. Okay. Okay. So you need something powder to lock it in, mm. to make it matte, so that okay. it won't transfer, won't come off throughout the day. Right. So you, you use okay. a setting powder for that. Yeah. I really like this one from Laura Mercier, but it's very expensive. So I only bought one. But what? it's really good. Like it really locks the in the oil. The bottle is $76. <clears throat> It's one that's nothing to shake because it's translucent, so it's universal. So you should use your setting powder right after mm. you use your cream products, right? But if let's say you are feeling like a no makeup makeup kind of look, mm. you can just don't wear any of the base product. Just wear just wear your setting powder after you put your skincare. So you stay matte law throughout mm. the day. Like so, control your oil. Ah uh, okay, okay. So I don't have all the glimmer like Mr. Taman does mm -hmm. as well. Orgasm. Mm -hmm. Sex appeal. So the next most important thing right for a guy mm. is gonna be brows. Because okay. your brows actually frame your face. Like mm. it gives your face structure, make you look more, be more energetic. Okay. So for me, I would I love the one from ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Mm. Oh, also one tip right when it comes to guys, if you want um if you want the most natural brows, right, you should choose one that is grey brown. So a brown that is grey tone. Because grey actually mimic your own hair colour. So that's gonna be mm. the most natural one for you. Mm. Yeah, so you, you draw like that. Lor. How am I gonna do it myself if I have to remove my glasses and then I'm a blind man without my glasses? I just I just st stare very closely at the mirror. Yeah. Your strokes right must be very light-handed. And you want to flick it, flick it, flick it. So it's like more natural. So I'll do like like that, like that, like that. You get what I'm trying to say. So you're supposed to follow the sh the direction of my brow la. Yeah. How my think my Tinder profile looking? So the last thing for like a very natural look, I would suggest using a tint. So you can use a tint like this for benefit for your lips and for your cheeks as blush. So you just ah. put a bit on your lips, you tell that for a bit of colour. Or you can dab on your cheeks for a bit of colour as a blush. Okay, okay. Yeah, long. And there's different colours you can try. Like, I mean, it's very pink, so most guys will be scared to approach this. Mm. But just choose the less red one, so it'll be less intimidating. Initially, when you put it on, okay, yeah, it's then pink. Okay. But what, when you shade out there, like this, like on your lips or on your cheeks, then it's very natural, just a flash of colour. Mm. It's like a flash of colour. Mm. Okay, so we are finally done with the haul, alright, and well, I must say there was a lot of things that mm -hmm, is happening mm -hmm. inside there, I feel very lost inside. So first up, this is the foundation. Uh, skin tint. Oh, skin tint. Skin tint. Yeah. Okay, and then we have, this is the setting, setting powder. powder. That we got from Guardian, from Maybelline. Ah, okay. Yes. And then this is a sponge. Yes. For me to apply, apply my foundation and setting powder. Yes, and okay. concealer. Yeah. And pro tip, uh, to rinse it first with water. Yeah, rinse yep. it first, wash it first, make sure okay. it's clean. Yeah. And with hand soap as well, uh, just to I use hand I use hand soap, but you can use honestly any other soap. Uh. Okay, okay. And then this is the eyebrow, uh, eyebrow pencil. pencil. And last but not least, very important, makeup removal. Cleansing oil. Or cleanse. okay. <laughs> very obvious, I'm getting all the names wrong, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But okay, so after this, uh, I think I'll go back and try. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Let me know how it is. Just hope I don't scare you with my... Okay, I'll, you I'll do it. You don't scare them lah. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> we'll see, we'll yeah. see, we'll see. Okay, yeah. but again, yeah, thank you but, uh, thank you for sharing with me all of this. All right, mm -hmm. and it's, it's, it's really very interesting to go through the entire process with mm. you. And you were sharing, you were very passionate about sharing, you know... You, you were sharing about the canvas. What was it about? Okay, so I was telling him how I feel like makeup is basically mm. painting and your mm. face is your canvas. Mm. Yeah, so that's just how I treat makeup. Mm. At the end of the day, you will remove your artwork. That's it. That's about it. Yeah. Mm. And every day you're coming with a new artwork. 
Alright, but anyway, yeah, so go back and try. Mm. And again, thank you, Jackie. Thank you thank for you, thank you, joining thank us. Thank you for having me. And thank you for sharing with us as well. Alright, so uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please again just like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you the next time when I am fully and we've got a full makeup on. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. bye.